All right. Thanks for joining us tonight. Basement boys, girls, basement dwellers all around the basements of the world. I don't know anymore. Um, already, <laughs> we're off to a great start. Yeah, yeah, solid. So, Basement Boy Banter, episode nine, up and running. Right? Nine? Yeah, yeah nine. Yeah. yeah. Woo. So many we can't remember. I know, I'm getting, <laughs> well, my memory is spotty at best, anyways. So, as always, we're your number one spot for all things Basement Boy related. As always, I'm your host, Thor. With me, as always, Brian. Hi. And tonight, we got a special guest in the basement, Trent. Say hi to the people, Trent. Hello. Perfect. <laughs> Trent, uh, tell the people a little bit about yourself, uh, you know, what you do. All right. Uh, my name's Trent Ludzak. Um, I do stand-up comedy. That's, I guess, my thing. <laughs> um, a lot of stand-up comics are nerdy guys, so that's why I think I can fit into this and oh, definitely. give some input. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I uh, started comedy in El Paso, Texas, and a lot of the people down there will probably be watching it. What um, up, El Paso? They, they, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, they taught me. Um, things, things, yeah, stuff. Some of them you don't want to know. Probably, yeah. uh, probably illegal and can't be said on the air, anyways. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't want to hear some. <laughs> I mean, El Paso. I, I would assume. Yeah. There's yeah. nefarious characters in El Paso. You know who you are. Border cities. It doesn't snow. They just have a lot of cocaine. So. <laughs> there's white around. There's a lot, lot, lot. Yep. There's a lot of white. Yeah. <laughs> just not on the ground. No. It's on tables and mirrors everywhere. So, at least you know, swipe right on the internet. Um. All right, well, yeah, that's Trent. Yeah. We're who we always are for the most part. So we'll get going pretty much right away. I'm out of it today. It's a lot of, lot of issues. Yeah. A lot of issues. Uh, some of the things on tonight's docket, we're going to talk about the Joker Harley Quinn set photos that have been floating around out there from Suicide Squad. Finally got Joker on camera, it looks like. Then we're going to talk about Matthew McConaughey possibly being in a Marvel movie, DC movie, maybe Spider-Man. So we'll talk about that. Some Fantastic Four TV spot, maybe we might mention or not. <clears throat> uh, some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 2 stuff. Well, it's not really news. It's just kind of, it's a slow news week, so I'm stretching for things to this week. Yeah. Uh, but we'll talk about some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 stuff, some Bebop casting, and Krang possibly being in it. Then we got some WWE stuff. Two weeks in a row we're talking wrestling. Oh, yeah. So we talked Payback last week. We'll do a little recap about Payback. Mm -hmm. Then NXT Unstoppable, if you did not watch it this past Wednesday night on the WWE Network, you are missing out if you're a wrestling fan because it was phenomenal. So as being the only one who watched it, I'll probably talk a little bit about that. Yeah. And uh, next week already is Elimination Chamber, so we'll talk about that. A lot, of, a lot of stuff going on. And then Dragon Ball Super, we got some more news on that. We got some Jaden Smith, Static Shock news. And a little bit of Star Wars stuff, and then we'll wrap it up with uh, talking about a whole lot of movies in a short period of time. So, with all that said, let's get right into it. Uh, started off Joker and Harley Quinn picks. Uh, there was ones of them talking. Harley Quinn's in like a regular clothes, no makeup, blonde hair, glasses. There's a point where she's pointing a gun at Joker. He pulls up in some purple Lambo, jumps out looking just <laughs> fresh to death in the purple suit. I mean, it looks like Joker. When you see it, regardless of what you feel, you know, the tattoos, the grill, mm -hmm. all that sort of yeah. stuff. When you see it, it's Joker. I mean, when we looked at the photos, instantly, you're like, you know who that is. And <laughs> they do have the damage on the forehead, which is probably the thing I'm the least happy about. But just what did you guys think of the photos in general? Let's start with Trent since you're the new man at the table. Uh, first of all, I think uh, the Joker definitely looks like the Marilyn Manson take on the Joker. Um a little bit, definitely. That, no, not a little bit. Exact, a lot, exactly. If <laughs> Marilyn Manson was the Joker, this yeah, is what we'd have. That's, that's exactly. I can, what I can see it. I can yeah. see it. I'm kind of wishing we had a Marilyn Manson Joker <laughs> now. <laughs> it, well, we do. It would look exactly the same. Yeah, it's just oh. Jared Leto, not <laughs> yeah. Marilyn Manson. Yeah. Yep. So. That's um, Harley Quinn. I haven't looked at a whole lot of the Harley Quinn ones. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, you should. Looks amazing. Yeah, you should. Margot Robbie is Harley Quinn. Just make sure you're yeah. alone. Um, you know. Just make, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, this show digresses. <laughs> digresses. Digresses. No. D digress. Degrassi. Um, it does stuff. Neil Degrassi. What? This, yep. We're just, him too. We're just going. him too. <laughs> it's the Neil Degrassi Joker. I don't care. It's a, it's a Memorial Day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is relaxed time. Oh yeah. I this is. Been sober this is gonna be a laid back show. I thought it was 
pretty good stuff though. Like I, I liked the suit on him. It yeah, the purple suit was dope. It wasn't like it fit this Joker in the sense that he seems like with the tattoos and all that. It seems like he's kind of like showy, but not <sighs> like not like in the old Joker way, but in sort of like uh, he seems more like dress showy. I think everything. I mean, yeah. p- pulling up in a purple Lambo, right. mm-hmm. you know, yeah. the tattoos are flashy, the metal grill, which hopefully again is because Batman knocked off all his teeth in prior, you know, encounters and stuff like that. It's all real flashy, showy, mm-hmm. peacocking, you know, like look at me. But that is the Joker. He yeah. wants everyone to look at him. No one should ever be looking at anybody but him in his eyes, you know? Yeah. He's yeah. A megalomaniac. No one should steal the spotlight. I mean, no. I just watched. Uh, the Michael Keaton Eight Batman, nine. yeah. And Wait till it, they get a load of me. And it's like, yeah, <laughs> he's know? like, he's like, he's like the bat stealing all my, all, all my, my press. Spot. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, no. It, when you look it's, at that and you like listen to that, you're like, yeah, I'm not surprised they kind of went this direction to get him back into. I want to be showy again because right. the Dark Knight, yeah. he didn't necessarily care about the press, but more like proving what he his message or whatever. Well, he just wanted to watch everything burn. I mean, right, he was right. Crazy. He yeah. was just crazy at like absolutely gone whereas i think this joker is going to be a complete different incarnation than we've ever seen in any of the prior you know jokers it's going to be a madness but a purposeful madness Mm -hmm, you know what mm -hmm. i mean whereas ledger's joker was purposeful but like um like alfred said you know some men just want to watch the world burn i don't think this joker just wants to watch the world burn i think he wants to you know Destroy the world at some point, but right. be like the showman about it. You know what he I wants mean? Everybody like, going to make know. a show of it. He yeah. wants it to be that's, like a circus him. of the world burn. Yep. And he wants to be the guy in charge. He's the ringmaster. Well, it so. almost seemed like the difference is like a guy who gets behind like a cause, like feed the starving children in Africa. And then it's like this Joker's like the guy who wears the t-shirt and like the hipster glasses, but <laughs> he's never like done anything to help. He's just like, yeah, I support these causes. Because he's tr- he just hipster, wants his name, you know. Joker. Yeah. yeah, you know hipster what I mean. Joker. I can't which wait. which is I think not a negative thing. You know yeah, what I mean. He doesn't weird. actually have a cause other than to make people think he has a cause, so he gets the spotlight. And I think that fits the Joker a little bit better. You know what I mean? Because it's all selfish. You know what I mean? He wants you to think yeah. that he's got some sort of evil this or that plan, but it's just so you'll think that, so you pay attention to him. And I think that's a good. A good take to go back to you know what i mean at, his, at of... its core it's just vanity mm-hmm, it's, mm-hmm. Just, yeah. it's just a very vain character i'm excited about everything we've seen from suicide squad so far i mean i'm getting to the point with suicide squad and civil war already that I'm, I'm starting to feel it's too much yeah you know, all these yeah. set photos every you know every week it's something different so i was kind of happy this week that there was really nothing like meaty news right you right. know what i mean like to, a lot of topics i just grabbed mm-hmm. because you know we needed something you know to talk about mm-hmm. but it's not there wasn't a lot of like some weeks it's like how are we going to talk about all this right, this week right. it was like alright we gotta you know make sure we talk about something yeah you know? well and they're not so. so finite that it's like nothing but right. they're like they're they're good sort of quick give people a little s- snacks but not like well, I've even, hated how meaty mm-hmm. everything is there's even some video of the Joker Harley yeah. Quinn thing there's... going on out there too. From like that was like shot on a cell phone. Oh yeah, but it's like a cell phone video. Yeah, of Killer them Croc's shooting. in it too. I think uh, Deadshot was in it. Yeah, there's there's a there's a bunch of video floating around yeah. even, and that that's why I, like I don't watch it because I don't want to see the video. I'll I'll look at some stills, and we'll talk about set photos and stuff like that. But when we're talking about like leaked footage or like, um, when, like we're not gonna talk about how the Supergirl pilot leaked online really yeah and that's already oh, out. i won't watch, i'm not gonna watch it we're, we're not gonna talk about it but like it's already out there you know and huh. but that stuff i want to see it i want to see it as the companies intend us to see it right not some person who just wants to get it out there or you know well and then judge it inappropriately right. you know what yep. i mean in like low quality this or yeah. that not finished because i mean even literally right before it goes out they're gonna cut in edit stuff so like you see this leak stuff it's not what it's gonna be well, it's exactly. not a finished product you mm-hmm. know what i mean like i said i want to wait to see it but like so i digress a little from there but yeah so the suicide squad stuff still going good i mean we still have yet to see uh amanda waller we have viola yeah. davis's character we have yet to see who common is playing because mm-hmm. he was announced that he's in the movie but we still have no idea who he is um so there's still a lot of unknowns about the Suicide Squad, which is good. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. you know, not everything needs to be known as soon as it happens. 
or as soon as it's you know there on set and things like that so but we'll keep looking at stuff every week and talking about it i'm sure <clears throat> every week until august next year yeah. <laughs> when it comes out yeah so well, moving on from there we got some matthew mcconaughey news i'm so all excited right, all, this right, all right <laughs> so uh he did an interview talking about uh, doing a Marvel movie or a DC movie and like getting attached to the franchise, getting attached to a franchise. And his whole thing was the money's got to be right. Um, the terms of the contract have to be right. And the the script, the story has to be right. right. You know, the character mm-hmm. has to be right. Which makes a lot of sense. I mean, he's in his, you know, uh, renaissance more or less in his yeah. career yeah. with a lot of things he's been, you know, doing lately. So it makes sense that he'd want to get attached to something, but doesn't want to be locked in for five, six, seven movies. Um, but he did, he said he was open to either DC or Marvel. He wasn't really specific one way or the other. But then just a couple of days after that, a rumor started floating around out there that he's being looked at for a role in Spider-Man in the 2017 reboot that Sony's doing, but Marvel has a hand in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> and there's two things I've heard. The one for sure possibility is him being like Norman Osborn. So like the head of Oscorp, Green Goblin, which I don't think we need another Green Goblin. Yeah. So the other thing I heard was him playing uh, Cassidy, the guy who becomes uh, Carnage, the serial killer madman who eventually becomes Carnage. That I'm much more interested in. Oh, yeah. And for that, you wouldn't even really need him as much in the first one. Maybe introduce him towards the end, but set that up for the second installment or a later installment. Because I don't think... You can't really go Carnage without Venom off the bat anyways. Right. And with him being in high school or who knows how the story is going to play out, you know, what whatever villain's going to make sense for what story they're telling is really going to determine what villain they go with. But <clears throat> I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Uh, I think it would be awesome to see Matthew McConaughey's uh, Osborne. I think that would be amazing. Yeah. That uh, I think that's his perfect role. When I first heard the Carnage thing, when you brought it up, I wasn't sure about that. Um, but I guess when I think back on some of his more, re- like, uh, True Detective, yep. that kind of brings me back. Like, the long hair thing and, like, just chain smoking, uh, like, that whole thing. Um, I don't know. I think he could be a good Carnage as well. Um, but I, I guess we have to see how it plays out. See, I'm so much more excited for him to be Carnage because I feel like... Matthew McConaughey plays like these like really whatever he characters, but I think that would make it really scary for him to be like a serial killer, but acts all like like I drive a Lincoln <laughs> when I wear my Carnage suit. Like like he's, he used to be so calm, when, and then when, he when just I'm loses. Getting, when I'm you know what I mean? Bodies, I drive be. a Lincoln. You, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. The, the trunk space is uncomparable. <laughs> like he just <laughs> seems like he would be such a good serial killer because he's so like reserved. And then when he loses it and becomes Carnage, it would be so much scarier and so much more impact yeah. from it because he went from this super, like, whatever, reserved, monotone guy to, like, super intense, crazy monster. Like, I don't know. Yeah. It just seems that, awesome to me. That might be... I have, You haven't really seen him in any roles like that where he's, like, really just nuts, like crazy. So yeah. that might be a little weird for Matthew McConaughey to do. Like, I don't know how we would weather doing that... Um, doing that type of role, you know, where he's just yeah. off the walls crazy because he hasn't done it before. Right, but that doesn't mean... I mean, he's pretty versed this... Like, like it's not like he's done a bunch of different stuff. Oh, he's got he's, acting chops. You right, know? I mean, exactly. He's done... He's done mul- he does kind of do the same character over and over again in some movies, but he's yeah. got range, like True Detective. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. You know, there's definitely some range he has, so... I mean, he was a little crazy in True Detective, but he wasn't, like, nuts off the walls crazy. Like, he would have to be to play Carnage. Well, and in real life, he's crazy. Haven't you heard, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, One time he got, like, arrested. Yeah, yeah, playing the bongos. Like, Like, he he could be a crazy person, for sure. He (laughs) is in real life. Have you seen The Wolf of Wall Street? That thing where he's pounding his chest? chest. You that's know? that's him. That's not part of the story. That's just he was doing he it was great. He backstage was great and Wall people Street. were like, fuck it, throw it in the movie. Well, you know? I mean, it's just like it's just like uh, Robert Downey Jr. always eats snacks on uh, mm-hmm. set. So like when he was like eating snacks in Avengers, that's like him actually eating. Yeah. Like they're trying to get him out of his hands, but he's always got snacks. So like when he's asking people if they want snacks, it's because he's literally always eating snacks. Yeah. yeah. So I think some of that real actor person will really leech into his, like, character well. You know yeah, what I yeah. mean? Like, it's going to be like Robert Downey Jr., where his, like, 
real personality that's goofy is gonna whereas this will be like yeah. his so real kind of like let's just say it's not spider-man would you rather see him in <clears throat> like a marvel movie or a dc movie brian what do you think i think we need marvel because marvel, marvel needs some especially if he's a villain marvel needs some good villains okay. the daredevil worked well because of the villain well it's not sad he's gonna be a villain i mean i'm just saying right, not but... not knowing character or just going marvel or dc regardless of, Character neutrality, let's just say. So you're saying Marvel over DC for McConaughey? Well, preferably villain, but if I had to, like, no, he just is in it and you couldn't pick which side, right. I would still go Marvel, but that's just because DC's kind of got their thing going and, like, I don't know. I think Marvel could use, because that's how they've kind of kept themselves going is good he'd, he'd fit better. He'd fit better in the tonality that mm -hmm. Marvel has than in DC. I can right. see that. I can see that. What about you, Trent? What do you think? Marvel or DC? Which one do you think he'd fit better in? I think, um, based on previous uh, shows and stuff, I think he'd go better with DC because he's usually a little darker in his yep. uh, when he plays things. I'm with you. It might help in Marvel to add a little bit of that into their story, but I think, as it stands, DC would fit him better. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm actually... I'm with, I'm with Trent on this one. I, I'm more DC. I'd be fine with Marvel... Um, who knows what the Spider-Man Sony Marvel hybrid yeah. is gonna be or look like? But yeah, I, I'm I'd be much more um, pumped for a DC property if I was heard if I heard he was being added to something DC than Marvel. I mean, he'll be fine in either one because he's a great actor. But if I had to pick, I would definitely probably go DC too. So, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we'll see. We'll see. I mean, sure, a lot of that stuff. A lot of stuff got to come out soon. I mean, these movies are taping. Yeah. And they have to be out in the next two years. So yeah. a lot of this stuff's gonna come out. I mean, I thought we wouldn't know who Spider Man is. I mean, there are there are people who say for sure it's that one kid we've been talking about, but it's not been confirmed by any studio. And I thought that would already be out. So oh, yeah, the Ender's Game kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but I don't know I don't know how I don't know about him yeah, Spider Man. We, I think he's not loud mouth enough for Spider Man. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see on that one. Until I get an official, I'm just yeah. Yeah. We're going to, yeah. We'll, we'll, ta we'll table that one for, for yeah. a week or so until we know something until definitive. Until we get way more definitive, information. Yeah. Definitive information. So uh, quickly, the Fantastic Four TV spot, it's a commercial for movietickets.com. And really all you see is Johnny Storm turning like a watch or something like that and then flames on and like takes off out of the shoot. That's the only, and they've shown bits and pieces of that, but I don't think they've shown that full shot. And that was kind of the only new thing about it. It was cool. I mean, I liked it. It was nothing special. It was just kind of the trailer cut up into a TV spot. But I thought the Johnny, I thought, you know, the Human yeah. Torch stuff was cool. Well, and maybe, maybe they have some sort of weird device where it's like, he's always on fire. And the when device he's out of his keeps scene. him not, that's what I was thinking. Is Which would control. be cool. That'd be cool. That, that would explain, because in the trailer where it showed him on the table, he was just on fire on the table. Right. He wasn't yeah. controlled at all. Right. So that would be kind of neat to give it like kind of like the thing yep. where it's like he, yeah. he can't control it. That would be pretty neat. But they found out. They but had, then why couldn't yeah. they do that for Ben Grimm too though? That's kind of a plan. Well, if that they go would be, that route. It would it would be, but it it I guess it would depend on the type of mutation that like they go yeah. through from being in the other dimension because this is from going into the other dimension, that's where they get their powers from mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then depending on I mean, I'm sure they'll have some. Plot well, they could device. have something. They'll, they'll have like some plot device to lowers his core temperature or something. It oxygen may, levels yeah. in the blood. Right, right, you right. Because there's like there's like a D and D monster. It's always frozen solid, so it lives in the desert. So the desert will thaw it out. Otherwise, it's frozen. So like when the <laughs> night happens, it's like frozen in a block, and it has to wait for the hot sun in the morning desert to thaw it out. So it's, so a it's like the opposite. From the 90s. So. Kind of, yeah. Well, I love that cartoon. Different, because gargoyles are night. This is yeah. right. only no, 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 during no. the day. So, so it's, like, it's a reverse gargoyle. Yeah. Right, but it'd Which be, is also you know a what I mean? position that I just made up. <laughs> no, I don't know. So. Yeah, we want to know what the reverse gargoyle is. <laughs> give, it, give us some yes. ideas. Tweet in those uh, answers yeah. for us. <laughs> yeah, comment below, yeah. please, on that one. <laughs> So, reverse gargoyle. Great stuff. Um, Name the Thor sex tape. Now, now after that, go. how can we move on from there, possibly? <laughs> uh, but we will on to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Uh, so, Bebop was cast. Some dude named Anthony. His last name's Anthony. The first name's escaping me, and I didn't write it down <laughs> because I didn't think about it. 
I want to say Greg Anthony, but I think that's a basketball player. But whatever. They cast some dude to be Bebop. If you don't know who Bebop is from the 90s, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoons, he's literally a boar who, yeah, he's a talking boar, pretty it's much. It's like Mr. T yeah. boar. Yeah, it's yeah, like yes, Mr. Yeah. T but a boar. That's a great way to put it, Trent. Thank you. Yeah, it's Mr. T but, but a boar. So he was cast, and then there's a lot of talk going on uh, about Krang, who, if you don't know who Krang was, he was a brain inside of a... Pod a with suit. like legs, yeah, yeah. suits. He was in a few different types of things. Mm-hmm. They're talking about him being in the movie as well. We already know Bebop, Rocksteady's gonna be there. The new Shredder they cast, which we talked about like a few weeks ago, I think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, so Teenage Mutant Ninja stuff's going strong. There's been a, there's been some set photos from that that we really haven't discussed. But mo- it's all Megan Fox, and I don't really care about yeah. Megan Fox. Who does? There were some there were some dudes in mocap suits with the shells and like the mocap all over them but that's not news like that's just yeah. you know and seeing Megan Fox in different although I I think there was one where she was blonde in a schoolgirl outfit which that's totally that fine with a, me look if you're looking totally at fine with me, and but, getting confused here no 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 this was, this was actually I I, this, I don't know but like I said we haven't talked about we, it we whatever. can pick out our gross yeah. thumbs toe, from toe anywhere thumbs. toe right. thumbs oh, so Ugh. yeah let's move so on some, now. okay yeah we'll just we'll just go right past that then so you guys no comments on rocksteady bebop um, i'm Krang. excited for krang krang, yeah, krang cool. i want to see yeah. yeah i'm down for that I'm, i hope he's not like a horrible cg see I, well, you know he's yeah. gonna be because i was i was surprised i liked the first one i i was i went into the first one thinking this is gonna be just garbage well like, and yeah. some of the the parts that were best in that were probably like the weirdest, like, like when they're all in the elevator making the music, yeah. yeah, it was like stupid, but at the same time, it was like, This is Ninja Turtles, yeah, no, Whereas there totally. wasn't a lot That's of exactly. this is Ninja it was, Turtles, it was true to its core, which, like, last week, Gem and the Holograms mm-hmm. not being, yeah, that's. <laughs> We won't we won't delve into that not cesspool again. Cool again. Yeah, you got really but mad at that. Did, oh, did you see the episode? Yeah, yeah oh, no, yeah. I'm not. Oh yeah, it hurts me to talk about that. So, we'll, but yeah, we'll, something true yeah. to the core. True to the core. Yeah. So I guess if he's a horrible CG mess, I'd at least like if him to be. I'm fine if he's yeah. CG, just not horrible CG. You know, they can make yeah. it. They can make it a blend of some type of. They practical... just need to go back to like Mad Max, mostly practical. Yeah, that's what was awesome about that Mad was, Max. but oh. but that wouldn't work in some. That works for Mad Max, yeah. but that's not going to work for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like different than cars, just not going. to... Yeah, that's yeah. like saying like let's make Transformers, but all practical effects. <laughs> that would be the coolest Transformers <laughs> would, movie ever. Th- it would be, but it would also cost like a oh, billion dollars to make. Impossible to not get set photos from that. Right. But you know what's <laughs> weird though? So they did uh, for I think it was King Kong. They CG'd the Empire State Building. The amount of money and time it took, they could have built ten real Empire, Empire State, State buildings. <laughs> it costs funny. more than we, the Empire State Building cost about when they made it. Production costs and where they can where they can trim and where they you know it's, it's funny. But moving on from there, um, real quick, Jaden Smith apparently is going to be Static Shock it's for not even a TV show or a movie. It's for like a web series that's on like the CWs. <laughs> like they have their own like web TV like web yeah. channel or something like that. I don't know. People have told me it's out there. Whatever. They probably get less to views me, than us. To me, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate Jaden Smith, but I don't really care about it either. And Static Shock's not a character that I really care about either. So to me, this is like not an issue. See, so, I used to watch the, Static Shock, the, the TV show all the time. And honestly, Jaden Smith's not bad. I'm going to be the guy who says it. He's not bad. You know what his problem is? Will Smith, his dad, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, well, yeah. he's always in movies with him, and it's it's handicapping him because mm-hmm. I really liked him in Karate Kid. I was gonna say yeah. that's that's what a lot of yeah. people say is the Karate Kid reboot or whatever. Jackie Chan and him was actually pretty good, and oh, he was, was fine. Solid, it. But yeah. everything he's in, like what was that movie after After Earth? Earth? Oh. I heard that was just complete. Garbage. But that's because yeah, I didn't even see that. I mean, Will Smith is awesome. I love Will Smith. Most he's of the time. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say yeah, most, most of, the of the time he's been right. going. On a but it, it seems like they're like they're like handcuffing each other because yeah. they're sticking yeah. together and it's basically handcuffing Will Smith into bad things yeah. and handcuffing Jaden into bad things instead of just separating so they yeah. can actually I get still good stuff. What, I still wonder what Django and Chain would have been if it was Will Smith <laughs> and not and not Jamie Foxx. I think not as good. I think I, I think Fox so. I think so too. I think not as good as well. well. I'm with I'm with you. I don't think it's as yeah. good as it was. As, and you'll never know, but it's interesting uh, to speculate. I think that, so, okay. I think the Jamie Smith thing is going to be bad because 
the CW, I didn't even know they had a web series <laughs> type right. thing. Like the fact I, that nobody knows that that's even a thing, it's going to flop, I think. Well, no, I mean, there's no expectations, so maybe it could impress. Right. Since well, it's got mm-hmm. such low yeah, expectations and it's on the web. see it. You know, it'll spread. Yeah, if I mean, if it's any good, if it's any good, and if it's not, then and I mean, odds you know, are we'll watch it's it and talk about real. it. So, well, yeah, now that I know. Well, wait, it. maybe. I mean, we don't talk about Flash or Arrow or Agents of Shield or any of the sh- TV shows now. Is Goth, it is um, it going to be like Goth Netflix where it's released all at once, or is I don't it gonna know. Be I, I have no idea. I've if it's released seen all that, at once, I'll, 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 I still, I still, I still, we should start talking about that Flash show because I've heard the finale of that was phenomenal. It's on my DVR. I'll watch it. Maybe we'll talk about it and like Arrow has a part about the. Where the Suicide Squad's in it. Yeah. It was, like, that there was, was in like season two, I think, right? Or yeah. Like the last season. There was a cool little Harley so. Quinn thing that just blew my mind. Yeah, they, they I hey, just read an article, just they the had voice. to stop. They had to like stop everything oh, they were doing. Oh, really? Yeah, DC told them like they couldn't do like anything they wanted to do with it because of the movie. Know, because what? of the movie and because, well, they're separate universes, but yeah. it still goes back to why I don't like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. so much. Is because I feel like they're creatively handcuffed a lot with what they yeah. can and can't do, which is why it'll be real boring until one of the movies drops, and then it gets really good, and then it gets boring, and then a movie yeah. drops, then it gets really good. But so, well, moving on from there, um, we'll look at that Jaden stuff. Whatever, not it. I'm not even that big. It's not <laughs> a big deal. Nobody cares. Yeah, I don't. I don't care. I care. So on to something I do care about heavily: uh, Dragon Ball Super. We've talked about it a bunch. I'll probably keep bringing it up as often as I can, squeeze it into the show. And with it being a slow news week, I figured, why not talk more Dragon Ball? Um, there's a couple stories going around right now that it's going to be the new Dragon Ball Z Super or Dragon Ball Super or whatever the name is, is going to be 100 episodes, which if you watch Dragon Ball Z, that's pretty much about as long as the Frieza saga. So three, about three seasons or so, mm-hmm. which is a lot of story that they're going to tell. And it's going to get a manga. It's not just going to be a TV show. It's going to have a manga included and stuff. So... All the hardcore sweaties out there will be able to pick that up and you know read those whenever they want. Yeah. So that'll be that'll be awesome. Two awesome things to look for. Can we I call think, our fans instead of basement dwellers? Can we call them sweaties now? No, yeah. we can't because Did you that, coin there, that? no, there's somebody else that actually oh, calls theirs, and I don't want to. I don't want to like cross. Yeah, no. Okay. I mean, we can. We will call them whatever we want. Sweaty basement dwellers. There you go. Sweaty basement, yeah, sweaty yeah, basement there dwellers. We go. Um, we so call our fans uh, douche. No, no, <laughs> definitely not. Valued viewers. Yeah. Valued viewers. No. I wonder but sweaty if I'm going to be a guest again good. ever now. <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah. Maybe. Show's not over yet. We'll see how well this goes from here on out. Although, it's been going pretty, pretty good so far. That's so funny. I don't say so myself. <laughs> so, Dragon Ball Super. Yeah. yeah, no, 100 episodes and a manga. I'm pumped. That's a long time. What do you think? I think I any Dragon Ball is good Dragon Ball. That's, it's just any Dragon Ball is good Dragon Ball. It, I mean, even let's be honest, GT wasn't like good, but it wasn't. It was worth keeping. Like, if I had to pick between not watching anything yeah. and watching that, I would watch it. The you know first, what I mean? The first part of Dragon Ball GT when they're off in space is just some really bad stuff. Mm-hmm. But as soon as they bring it back, and you got Android Seventeen, and then. You know, they start dealing with Super Saiyan 4 stuff, and they move into the... Um, I mean, it gets the out there. But it gets out like, there, but it gets better mm-hmm. after that initial part. You know, like like so. if somehow every episode of Dragon Ball Z like exploded except for GT, yeah. we would at least... I like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be like, oh, no, there's nothing. Like, it's like, okay, right. I'll deal with it. <clears throat> no, and I, I'm, I'm just excited that it takes place before... Or GT doesn't even really exist. It's like... Did they other make world. it like not? It's, yeah, it's technically not canon because it's not Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and this will all be canon mm-hmm. and all be concurrent. And Super picks up right after Majin Buu Saga, and then goes from there. So that'll be interesting to see all that, how that all plays out. And the, then the manga. I mean, I'll probably pick it up and check it out because a lot of times those are coming out quicker for us, at least in the states, to get and read than for me to wait for. Um, it to come out in Japan, it to run in Japan, then for it to get sent over to Funimation, for mm-hmm. them to do a, a voice dub over it, then put it out maybe on TV somewhere or DVD. It's not going to be just right to you know yeah, season one. It's not like Dragon years. Ball Z where you can't just go buy season one you know, right when it comes out. It's going to be, like I said, probably two years until I'm actually physically holding... And at that time, who knows if there even is DVDs anymore, but like some physical media 
of the new Dragon Ball Super. So, but well, be on the lookout for that sort of stuff. So then, uh, two more things. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to skip wrestling. We're running out of time. So, we'll talk we'll next week. Mad. Next week for sure, wrestling. Next week for sure, we'll cover some because the day be, it'll be like the day before yeah. Elimination Chamber. So we'll definitely hit it. All I'll say on the wrestling thing: payback was good. Rollins retained. We knew that was gonna happen. Uh, NXT Unstoppable was just amazing. Kevin Owens is just a beast. Samoa uh, Samoa Joe finally showed up. So he's like an indie wrestler who they've yeah. been waiting to come over forever. He showed up at Un- uh, Unstoppable. Sami Zayn got destroyed. Finn Balor looked awesome. Had new makeup with this giant eye on his back. <laughs> it was incredible. There, the wit, the Divas matches in NXT are literally better than some of the men matches on Raw and SmackDown. <laughs> no, no, and not and not even like by a little bit, by a lot. Like storytelling wise. Pacing wise, finish like how they they tell a story in the match so well on NXT. So if you're a wrestling fan and you're not watching NXT, I highly recommend going to watch it. It is worth it alone is pretty much worth the nine ninety nine a month for WWE Network. Plus if you watch if you watch nothing else but the pay per views and NXT on WWE Network, it's worth nine ninety nine a month. It is like I won't cancel my subscription just for those two things because I got to see the pay per views. Sponsor us, and I got to see and I got to see <laughs> NXT. I got it. Yeah. And now that they're doing, you know, Elimination Chamber two weeks after they just did Payback. Yeah, it seems know. like these pay per views are literally like boom, 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 boom. And then we got Money in the Bank right around the corner. So, huh. so yeah, we'll we'll touch more about wrestling next week when. Uh, um, we we have both yeah. to kind of like right. everything to well, kind of. By then maybe you can watch NXT Unstoppable or something. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. all right, we'll move on from there. We're gonna talk about uh, some Star Wars stuff. This actually came out a couple weeks ago, but I kind of forgot to mention it. Yeah, is the set, so Star Wars anthology. So we we know that Star Wars Episode Seven is coming out in December. Poster behind us. Um, then we got Episode Eight and Nine coming out like eighteen months after that, and like a year after that. But in between the episodes, now they're going to have what they call anthology movies. So the first one coming out in 2016 is Rogue One. Star Wars Anthology Rogue One. And that's about a rogue squadron who gets the plans of the Death Star that inevitably ends up in Leia's hands. So that's the, the next movie coming up. And then the second one, which has been rumored for a long time and is apparently, like, from all from everything I've been hearing is what's going to happen. It's going to be a Boba Fett standalone. So Star Wars yeah. anthology, let's just call it Boba Fett. Yeah. So it'll yeah. be. It's not going to be an origin story because we already have the yeah. origin from when his dad died. He takes over the mantle. If you've never seen the Clone Wars uh, series from Cartoon Network, there is some of his story in that <clears throat> as well. But I could see them picking this up in. Uh, Maybe his later teens, yeah. when he, like right when he's becoming like a real badass bounty hunter. Because mm-hmm. there's also some stuff with him going on in the Star Wars comics right now. Yeah, you know he's in the newest. I want to say Star Wars number five uh, that just came out. Because now Marvel does all the comics too. They have oh. uh, Star Wars, Darth Vader, Leia, Kanan, and one other one I'm forgetting right now. But they got like a bunch of different like yeah. actual ones running, huh. and this is. Um, so yeah so it's rumored and speculated that's going to be that I mean that was actually the rumor before Rogue One was announced that it was going to be a Boba Fett movie for a long time Boba Fett's a huge character I mean he's not yeah. a very prominent character he, if you yeah. watch this, the original yeah. trilogy he's not yeah, he's pretty ton, small Yeah, but he has had a lasting effect on he a, picked up know, like on a lot he, of people people just like him mm-hmm. he's just for no reason, he, really. He, he's well, the he's think? the most likable non face person in movies. What probably. do you guys think about that? Like if that, it is that movie, I think it's cool. Just because uh, I guess bounty hunting is kind of a it's kind of a thing. People watch bounty hunting shows that are just shit. Now, Star Wars bounty hunting movies That'd would be, be amazing. Cool. Like people, that's people would just eat that. Well, up. With, with Boba Fett too, he's a mysterious character, so I don't want to yeah. like delve into like his backstory too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just give us like a Mad Max version where it's oh. like uh, just a, a mission he's on or one of his stories. Or you know even like, I mean? like 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 Space Western, you know? Space Westerns oh, are sweet, cool. but you yeah. know what I mean? Space Western, make like, it... Fun. definitely be. You know, yeah. like, like literally... Like kind of Firefly thing. Yeah, yeah. kind of. 
but you know in the star wars universe make it sort of like you know he's yeah. just out on some job and it goes bad and then like whatever gets involved and you know like there's plenty of bar scenes oh, you know yeah. like yeah. like quick draw contests whatever you know like yeah. cool stuff like that that's all it needs no i think it i think it'd be cool i think it both that movie would work it just depends on what they're trying to do with it mm -hmm. and what yeah. story they're going to tell with it that's all I really Well, and how much they want it to be prominent in the universe, you know. I'm with you on the no backstory. Yeah. I don't think they should do that. I if, if I see like a young Boba Fett crying in that movie, I'm gonna punch the nearest person to me in the dick. <laughs> I mean, I don't think like, that, I don't think that, I don't think it'll be like a, a it, that, when he's like a young kid. I just wonder what timeline they're gonna put it in. Is it gonna be, you know, between three and four, between four and five? Is it gonna be between six and seven? Yeah. Does he survive falling into the pit on Tatooine? That like, would be a good one to do. You know, like, yeah. is because you could you could pick up right there, like he crawl like flies out or gets out of the pit somehow, and that's literally the start of the movie. That would be pretty sweet. That Him would, like yeah. crawling the out of the thing, you know, or you know, that could definitely be a possibility too. Yeah. Or they could tell, like I said, they have so much time to pick. And then the other thing is, I think you do like Judge Dredd, where you don't show his face a lot. Yeah. Because you don't want, you know what the clones are supposed to look like when they're older. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't want that. You're not bringing back that actor that did that. You know, so I'd say keeping yeah. the mask pretty much yeah. the entire time. The whole time, time. yeah. Because you know? then you don't have to get that actor back. You could hire, like, me to do that. And right. it doesn't well, matter. Well, I mean, it's not even who you hire. Yeah. Well, I mean, you. It's. Because you, you could yeah. use his voice. Yeah. Like, so you could cast anybody you want. Yeah. And then have them voice it, but just not take off the mask. Well, well and well, even really Darth the, Vader, like yeah. you, you never see his face in most yeah. of it, and he's stuck like loose. Well, so, not like James yeah. Earl Jones in that costume either. That's a completely different right, right. Oh, so yeah. you could easily like make like you don't need yeah. an actual face. The only problem with not showing someone's face is one reason why they have that Iron Man mask thing is because if you get a big actor to do it, they want their, their face. face. Yeah. Well, yeah, because actors are vain and, you know... Well, like, they want credit, they want you know? Their, yeah, they want their face. It's just like, yeah. So, we got time. We got a little bit more time, right? We got a little bit more time. We got... <laughs> Last topic. Last topic. We'll make it quick. Night. I'm getting the I'm getting the sing signal from the the tech guy. Um, last topic of the night. So there's a list going out online of 25 superhero movies, and you'll actually see it pop up here in a second. That come out between July 2015, starting with Ant Man, through July 2019, ending with Inhumans. 25 different superhero movies. Now, not listed in that list, though, are the Spider-Man animated movie that they're doing or the X-Men New Mutants mm -hmm. that they just announced. So if you add, let's add those two in. We're going to say 27 superhero films over the next four years. <laughs> Between July this year and July of uh, 2019. Is that too many? Are we are yes. we getting oversaturated? Are we going to be? Are all these movies even going to come out because we're going to be bored with it by then? Who knows? I, I doubt I it. I think it's too. I I mean I think they'll still come out. I think we'll still be entertained, but I think it's just going to take on the same thing. You know, it's just going to be. It's going to be like chick the flicks. Same you know, movie. they come out every every you know couple yeah. months, and it's like oh another chick flick, and they still go see them. They're just always disappointed. Or horror movies. Horror yeah. movies come out all the time, and most people oh, are disappointed. Don't you get me started on that? Because we're, I mean, we're in like the rena I mean, not the Renaissance, but we're in like the peak of superhero movies. They're at the yeah. best they've ever been since you know the early days, you know, until through the nineties. <laughs> Dark Man, <laughs> that, right? You know, the Phantom, the Shadow, like the nineties ones. To now, obviously, we're we're the best. This is it. Doesn't really get any better. So when is the bubble going to burst? I mean, do you think it'll be how many years? Do you think it'll be before I think Infinity? You think after this last phase, after like, let's say Justice League 1 and 2 and Infinity War Part 1 and 2, once those have hit and that you think will be kind of the, you think that'll be kind of the downturn? Um, unless they can find a way to make it fresh again. Yeah. Yeah. Especially because there's so many TV shows too. I mean, yeah. you don't even, there's 27 movies. Yeah. Plus TV shows, you know, so many TV shows. we could name like easily like ten. All the, all the Netflix shows going, all the CW yeah. stuff with DC, the TNT shows. It's just too much. It yeah. is a lot. 
I no, like uh, it, but at the same time, like it's gonna burn always, out quick. It's burning out bright and quick. Well, and we always say we don't have time to watch all of this stuff. Yeah, cause, cause, like every That's day there's much. like six more things yeah. to watch that are thirty minutes long. Well, no, I mean, like a lot of hardcores. I mean, we're not gonna give up. You know what I mean? Like we're gonna keep going to see it. But I think the thing is, is the general public, the yeah. mass. You know what I mean? Like it's gonna go back to more on the fringes mm -hmm. and not be front and center because. As we'll never get sick of it, I'll never get tired of going to see Marvel movies or DC movies. As long as they're good, yeah, and they keep up with this quality and they keep up with the storytelling. Even Star Wars movies, that doesn't even those twenty seven movies don't even count the Star Wars movies. Yeah, so let's so say another four Star Wars movies in there too. You're up over thirty movies now. Granted, there's thousands of movies that come out every year. Yeah, and some of these movies are made for you know certain people. I mean, yeah. the Deadpool movies definitely made for. Yeah. A specific audience, you oh, know, yeah. um, and a lot of them are I guess be that's genre true. movies yeah. and stuff like that. Like, so I mean, we'll see. But I do have the same concerns that everyone that it's going to get just same old, same old. You know, we're just going to yeah. get retreads and just retellings of same stories, and that's not going to become special anymore. You know, yeah. it's going to mm -hmm. lose that luster that it has now. Yeah, who wants to go so, to a midnight showing for the seventh time in like Rogers. two months or whatever? Look at Harry know? Potter though. Seven yeah. movies, seven different Harry right. Potters. Yeah, but there but wasn't another not, series of like 30. <laughs> wizards going at the exact same time. Yeah. That was seven yeah. long. Plus a bunch of TV shows about wizards going plus on at the, the same other, time. Yeah, plus you have yeah. the, the X-Men stuff. You got Fox over there. You exactly. Got, it is It is a crowded marketplace, but everyone's yeah. making money right now. Right. For now. So, for yeah. now. I think for the now. shows are going to start to die soon, like about the same time as the movies. The TV shows? Yeah. I think the TV shows go first. Oh, me too. I think the, I, I think the movies could first. keep going, there's, though. There's, there's one show I think can keep going, and that's Gotham. Because really? Batman's not actually in it. It's, it's yeah. a prequel. It's... Yeah, well, it's the, about, it's we, the we were origins. About that, though. That, that is the only show that's off on an island to mm -hmm. itself. Yeah, it's not connected to Arrow or Flash, um, or Supergirl or Titans. Yeah, and then you know Mar Marvel stuff's all connected. Everything's connected in Marvel. So um, that is you're right. I mean, it's, yeah. it's one. It's my least favorite show. What if we're talking about? Like, Gotham, we, we can't really get into awesome. this. But yeah, no, it, we it, don't it get is that. Out on a, it is out on an island, so I yeah. can see that. But I would see the death of the TV shows happen before the death of the movies. The one thing though with the movies is they'll start to slow down. Instead yeah. Of, oh yeah. Instead of two a year for Marvel Studios, maybe one a year for Marvel Studios. You know, it all it all really goes back to how fast you're pumping them out too. Mm -hmm. The machines just pumping these out every. Six months, you know, they wrap shooting on one. They start shooting the next one. They wrap shooting on one. They start God, shooting working the for next them one. would be so tiring. That speed oh, can kill, and it'll kill quality over time. Like, because they'll have a lot of the same people working in, you know, the background stuff. You know, the yeah. the sound guys, the video guys. They'll be working on the same. Movies Even if it's different directors, different all cinematographers, the time. different, you know, yeah. so and so and, and so. And that can kill quality. That I mean, can. the best boys. Who someone's got to yeah. someone's got to cover for them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The the gaffers, <laughs> the guy who like just... good gaffing in a movie. Though. Yeah, yeah. Nothing like good gaffing Gaff in a movie. Do you know what gaffing is? Oh. It's when you tape the cables down so people don't trip on that shit. Yeah, that's yeah, see, that's, that's without that's, yeah. he's tired. I mean, if if yeah. he doesn't, yeah. If Robert Downey falls. Jr. breaks his arm, the movie's done. They got to hold it off. That's... Look what happened with the uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean and Johnny Depp. Have, yeah, he like broke his arm or hand or something. Yeah. Had to go get surgery. Not because of gaffing issue, but yeah, but or something. was it gaffing like, issues? In no time do I ever think we we're going to talk about gaffing on this show. That's, so okay, well, let's keep talking about that. Gaffing. Being said, <laughs> we're going to wrap it up here. I want to thank all you guys for joining us again. Uh, Basement Boy Banter, always happy to bring you everything Basement Boy related. I'm your host Thor. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, Thor is G R and the number eight. Uh, Brian, let them know where they can find us. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Search Basement Boy Banter. Yeah, yeah. If there's a social media, we're on main it. social media. Yeah. Search Basement Boy Banter, and you'll find us. You're not on Grinder. No. <laughs> no, 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 Grinder. That's, no, Tumblr. guys, that's another uh, market for you guys. What's that other one? No Tinder. No, none of that. And we're not swiping right or left. <laughs> yeah. Uh, make a that, make so. a Basement Boy Banter yeah. dating. Um, that's that be Tinder. Uh, I so can't. Yeah, Trent, you, I don't know about you. Where yeah, you find can you find me on Tinder. Um, Perfect. <laughs> most He's you lonely probably and needs a, needs needs loving, ladies. Constantly. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm on Facebook, Trent Ludzak, Instagram, same name, just minus a space. Um, 
That's about it. But my Instagram, yeah. I warn you, any, is not you got, pathetically kept. It's pathetically. You got any of your uh, stand up online anywhere they can check out? Any YouTube videos? Uh, there's or? one on YouTube. Um, shit, I can't remember the link to it off the top of my head because somebody Perfect. else posted it. He'll, yeah. he'll put it in the comments of this yeah. video once this video is up. He'll put a link yeah. in the comments so you guys can check out his stand up. Uh, we want to thank you guys for joining yeah. us as always. And we'll see you guys next week. If you like what you just saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our videos, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and like our Facebook page. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's yeah, that was a good way to start the show. <laughs>